what it do Aquarius thanks for stopping by spirit of me 1111 don't forget like share and subscribe if any of the message resonates for you back at it again from a lovely Aquarius this is a timeless reading tarot can be is shall I say gender neutral your kings can be queens and vice versa so don't get too caught up in the genders this guy wanted to come out adjustments are required third quarter moon okay Aquarius Happy birthday, Aquarius. Almost Pisces season. But right now we're dealing with the Aquarius. So what? Alright. So what else? From the Moonology deck for my Aquarius. It's time to give rather than take. Very specific message for some of you guys, and I'm gonna cut. Oh, <laughs> this card has chosen you guys. A new start is coming. We're gonna roll with that. Meditate and contemplate. All right, so you know, we got your cards, we got your messages from this Moonology deck. A new start is coming, Aquarius beautiful adjustments are required and it's a time to give rather than to take so for some of you who may have been takers and in that kind of energy if you are a cross watcher and you know that this is the energy that you have shown up in Aquarius life with then you know that message is for you as well cross watchers this reading could resonate for you more than the Aquarius you are watching for keep that in mind so let's dive deep with the tarot for my Aquarius Spirit, angels, archangels, and ascended masters, as well as my ancestors, the ancestors of Aquarians who are watching the collective. What messages do we have from the tarot? All Queen of Wands. Someone's ready to take action. This is energy that exudes superior confidence, authority, um, a swag, and um, ambiance that's very magnetic and attractive, very beautiful characteristics, very beautiful person. But the Queen of Wands is like, you know, a no nonsense kind of loving, caring energy all in one. This Queen of Wands will give you what you give her. If you give her love and consistency, she will give it back. If you give her drama and bullshit, she will give it back. She does not mind. This is someone who works very hard and is obtaining and attracting the things that he or she wants in their life this is also someone that balances home and work life really well so the queen of wands is going to be very beautiful she's going to dress up and look the part for a date night as well as be able to go home and look equally good um standing over the hot skillet of food and a robe for the kids you know it's very good energy high priestess energy so we have aries leo sag and pisces is virgo as well as I mean, the high priestess is Virgo as well as Pisces. I just said that. So, in the will of fortune. Ooh, we. Okay, what else, spirits? Queen of Pentacles. So, it's at the center of this reading is high priestess here, Aquarius. So, your intuition is telling you that a person you're dealing with is you're having a lot of sleepless nights over anxiety over. It could be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Um, has put you in a third party situation there's no questions about it this person has put you in a third party situation and now you're at a crossroads Blah. cross roads adjustments are required because you need a new start this person has been a taker not a giver it's here in the cards uh, maybe you are a giver you could be dealing with someone that has a wife or a baby mother on the side and they're not done dealing with this person here um this person is at a crossroads energy or it could be your energy trying to decide which way to go um, what path to take right now but you're very much so living in anxiety here sleepless nights depression up maybe crying at night very depressed low vibrational energy there but i see you guys trying to manifest and create a change for yourself here with the magician energy right virgo gemini energy so i see more energy for you guys your intuition is telling you something. There are secrets here in your situation with your person. This one jumped right in my hand. Two of Cups. Okay. So with some of you guys, you're dealing with someone here that um, started out as like a wish fulfillment. This is someone married. King of Pentacles here. Eight of Wands. Yep. And then we have... Ooh, look at this. So this person's breadcrumbing you. Or has been. 
Um, and it's very toxic. And the devil energy could be a Capricorn. I just got done reading for Capricorn here with the devil energy. Um, this is someone that you viewed as a soulmate. I see that there was a tower moment. Look at that. <laughs> there was a tower moment. There was a fight and a lot of falling out and bickering and pettiness here. You got into a fight with this other woman or person, be it verbal or physical here. Um, it's here for you, that energy. Five of Wands, fights, chaos, things that came um, really fast, really unexpectedly for some of you in your situation. The tower moment um, is indicative to that. Although you may have tried to work the situation out, your person just wanted to keep taking, taking rather than give. This is someone that showed up as your soulmate. This is someone that started out really good, giving you what you needed, giving you what you wanted, meeting you halfway here. You could have married this person um, or have kids with them, or they could be married in another situation here to someone that's, you know, a breadwinner in the situation. You're going to have the um, clarity that you seek in the situation with the Gates of Wands here. And I see that although there's a lot of fights and chaos going on, that this situation is going to get better for you. Your luck is going to change. The will is going to begin to turn in your favor here. And your wishes are going to be fulfilled. Um, you've worked really hard at obtaining this connection. It was a wish fulfillment type of energy for you here. And you can even still have that moving forward. I'm going to pull clarifying cards to back this up. Um, Four of Wands. So for some of you guys, this is cyclic energy. Um, this is someone you've been dealing with for maybe decades, years. I see you have kids together. You definitely have a family with the Four of Wands and Nine of Cups. This person or you could be drinking a lot now because of the depression, because of everything that happened that's taken place in the connection. Ooh, this is a heavy reading, Aquarius. And the Magician with the Devil card, that is manipulation and deceit. This person could be controlling you with their money, with their kids, or hanging something over your head. It has you deciding if you want to walk away from this situation or not with that Two of Wands energy, the Magician, and the Nine of Swords. You know, that tells a story all its own. This is someone that's a control freak that knows how to use um, your vices against you to control you, whether it's the kids, whether it's money. Um, if you're in a situation where you have a house with this person and you, know, you don't want to leave, you don't want to be homeless you don't want to be um go through a situation where you have to go back to family friends possibly even a shelter um jeez <laughs> sacrifice <laughs> this person has left you hanging but they've also um because of the depression it's going to make you come out a whole new person with a new set of skin looking at things from a different vantage point here there's been lots of deception and envy in your situation with the person so now it's up to you what movements choices and decisions you're going to make moving forward here because you know the ball is in your court here but it is definitely time for some adjustments you can't live long in this energy and the devil is here twice this is addictions this is toxicity uh, that's manipulation that's control but the magician also shows that and depicts that as well right so spirit is telling you it's time to rest and rejuvenate sometimes you have to take a few steps back look at things with a different set of eyes from a different vantage point and come back at it do the shadow work face your fears of what you may be scared to lose and walk away from here it's going to require that and uh, for you to make sacrifices right now even if it requires for you to be very uncomfortable um, for a little bit of time to step into your abundance the will will begin to turn in your favor and you'll be very um expansive and fortunate here um it could even meet someone that's like you like a soulmate along your journey and path here but it's going to require for you to be brutally honest with yourself to be brutally honest here with the ace of swords you could have even found out about this other person that you've had your intuition has been telling you for the longest that there's someone else that this person is equally attracted to because there are they are and um, this information could have come to you very fast, very quick, very swift. And now your person is wanting to communicate with you because the situation is at a standstill. It's not moving anywhere right now. Spirit has you alone. Spirit has you to your side, resting and rejuvenating for the next cycle and phase in your life. What you choose to do with that, that's on you. Any more messages from my Aquarians? Spirit. So we have that new start is coming and recognition and rewards here. Yep. So, and intuition again. Woo, that high priestess again. Some of you guys are very kind of psychic-like. You know things before they happen. And the Ace of Swords twice. 
I can't make this up. <laughs> I cannot. A victory, recognition, and rewards. Um, the life you seek requires for you to ground yourself. Spirit is telling you to ground yourself. Get grounded. Stand up for yourself. Get grounded. It's time that you take your power back of the situation. If you're going to be abundant, um, the adjustments require for you to get uncomfortable in the moment. That it does. It requires for you to embrace this tower moment. This storm that has come has not come to destroy you. It's come to clear your path, to get you on your way, to move you around from the situation so that you can step into this Wheel of Fortune energy. But you have Ace of Swords twice, right? This is power epiphanies here. This is speaking your truth, um, right? You may not have spoken your truth in the past, but you're definitely finding out about the secrets here that... You've been having sleepless nights over the control, the lies, the manipulation, the deceit is here. Deception and envy. That's heavy energy. That it is. Um, I don't even know which oracle to go with this, with these cards. I guess I'll do energy oracle. Spirit, what energy oracle do we have? So you, your wishes can be fulfilled. You do have wish fulfillment energy here. Something you've prayed for. Something you've hoped for. The Nine of Cups is, um, you know, kind of a lower um, denomination of the Star card, which is your energy. You know, the Aquarius card, the Star card, wish fulfillment here. But um, you can be blocking that with addictions, with toxicity. Some of you guys may have turned to drugs or alcohol or um, drinking a lot just to try to cover the pain of what you're going through right now with this person. So that energy is here for you guys. All tied up yeah. and your mental body and your mental faculties you're all tied up this community card here is telling me your person is stepping out a lot it could be your energy as well the energy can be interchangeable but um, it's about your person stepping out a lot meeting people out in the world and having a sexual addiction here um, this person really likes to um, sleep around with multiple people and they go out and look for people they could be looking online for people that um, they sleep with a lot. They want to keep you near and dear, but they're bare feeding you um, with the page of pentacles. This is someone that's giving you the bare minimum right now to keep you and they have you all tied up in a situation that I feel you no longer want to be a part of. So, you know, adjustments are required to rid yourself of this attachment here. Maybe you're attached to um, the image that you created with this person, the family life, what people see from the outside, looking in and think it's um, all sweet, or the universe is telling you that now it's time to remove the rose-colored glasses um, so you can get the recognition and reward and material harvest that the universe has for you in the form of something that's going to be like wish fulfillment coming your way with the will of fortune, abundance, growth, expansion, luck is going to begin to turn. Things are going to go in your favor once you release and walk away from that toxic person and energy. Kipper Oracle, what do we have for my Aquarians? Ooh. Despair. Oh my, look at that. It's here so many times. Despair. Some of you guys could have recently lost work or your person, and maybe this is why they have so much time on their hands to be going out, sleeping around, getting people online, they're meeting some different multiple sex partners that they're hooking up with here. It's got you in turmoil. Right, any more energy from the Hipper Oracle Courthouse. Somebody is going to be getting a separation. Looks like you may be separating or going to court for child support. You're filing for separation or divorce papers. Spirit is telling you to detach from something that's very toxic that you've been attached to for a really long time. Ooh, we and it's about kids. Yep, you guys going to need to work out child custody. You have a win-win in your favor because you have a new start coming here. Then a win-win is forecast in your favor with the Wheel of Fortune energy. So you and your loved ones are safe. Um, file whatever paperwork you need to for full custody um, if that's the route you want to go here. But something requires for you to separate from this person. It could be that you're married. It could be a common law marriage. Spirit, what else? One more card for my Aquarians. What they need to know for their situation moving forward. Pathway. So, yep, and then marriage is here and change. So I don't know what you guys are expecting, but it's time to start a new journey in your life. You have to detach and walk away from a marriage, a person that you were with that hurt you, that scorned you, that has been lying, manipulating, deceiving you, and sleeping around on you. Um, 
I don't know what you're expecting. Your expectations here is showing me that, you know, you're planning here. This could be you strategically planning what to do. Um, how are you going to go on with your new life that's coming in for you? And there's lots of change here on your pathway. Butterflies are here to represent train. <laughs> I'm trying to say change and transformation. <laughs> change, transformation. Um, give anything that you don't understand to the spirit and the universe for transmutation and know that it's okay to not have all the answers here, right? Expect to have a win-win outcome in your um, situation with the courts because it's here for you. The change that's coming, it needs to come. It needs to happen. You need to release these toxic energies so that you can step into your best life because nothing here gets better until you do what you have to do and um, make the adjustments that are required right because it's time that you start to receive and stop having things taken away from you so it's not um maybe a reading that you guys wanted to get but it's what spirit has for you it's here i'm going to close you guys out with a archangel michael message and see what does archangel michael want you to know about your situation this will be your last card and i wish you guys well please comment down below this is your situation you need a personal private reading that information will be listed down below as well I love you guys so much. Take care and remember that you are worth any and everything you could possibly think of and imagine and dream for yourself beyond your wildest dreams. That's why I wish fulfillment is here. So something you're praying and hoping and wishing for in your time of crying and prayer and restless nights is wanting to um, come through for you. Your angels are wanting to help you. For some of you, marriage could be coming up in the near future for you guys. It's here. Okay. Message is... Ask Archangel Michael to help with the situation. Card is Ask Archangel Michael 16. Card number 16. Where's that page 16? It reads This situation that's concerning you can improve with Archangel Angel Michael's help. <laughs> this card serves as a reminder that it's never too late to get the angels involved, and their assistance will improve everything immediately including giving your inner peace, new ideas and insights. Whew. New ideas and insights. And you have the Ace of Swords here twice. Powerful ideas, epiphanies, insights, clarity, right? All right, including your inner peace, and new ideas and insights. Michael will help you in ingenious and unexpected ways. So be open to miracles that take on surprising forms. Possible specific meaning of this card can also be know that you're powerful you are not a victim release any blame for yourself or others focus upon solutions not problems allow other people to help you and keep an open mind to alternative solutions all right thank you guys so much i hope someone got what they needed take care my loves and namaste